comes. Tom's, this is that time again. And it's like you know what time it is. It's Tom's time and I'm going to see ya. Why not in books when I'm just going to say, I'm 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 going to say, and making the right lifestyle and health choices can help to prevent it. Now, I'm glad you will be discussing some of those choices. I look up, Pella will also be uncovering some of the things that are responsible for causing a cancer, so like a bandy, how it attacks the body. Inshallah, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are responsible for causing a cancer, so like a bandy, how it attacks the body. Inshallah, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are responsible for causing a cancer, so like a bandy, how it attacks the body. Inshallah, I'm Coming up on TOMZ. Ian Basayati Cancer, so like about how cancer works in the body right down at the cellular level. We visit a cancer research facility right here in Mzansi that is making a big difference in finding ways of treating a disease. He eat him labs. Mm -hmm. We found out from the experts at cancer how maintaining a healthy lifestyle can reduce the risk of a cancer. And we check out some great online content that will help us lead healthier lives. Cool cyberspace. Masam in Bitna. Let's go. Cancer Bitna, yes, this is the music are cool. For instance, it can be inherited if there is a family history of the illness and it can also come about due to external factors like Ukchai. Now Ukchai Lokukulmangako has been identified as a leading cause of lung cancer and lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the United States and other countries for both Ahmad Lisa and Ahmad Misfazai. And what I'm going to say and Anna Pemakai is that the lung cancer lena has also been identified as the most preventable form of cancer death Aba Mshabin. So I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say this is what they had to say. And what causes cancer? I don't really know. Cancer is caused by smoking. You can be born with it. Like when you smoke, like you get cancer and it can damage your lungs. It can be breast cancer. Yeah. It can be cancer that infects your lungs. But I know cancer is a very, if a very neg negative thing to our country and mm -hmm. we need to do something about it. Do you think smoking is good for anyone? No, it's not. You also can get breast cancer and spinal cord cancer and all that. It can damage your lungs. And whatever type of cancer it is, you may die if you don't treat it. So why smoke? Well, boys, what I want to say are 25.7 times more likely than women who never smoke to develop lung cancer. Yes, yeah, you can say, cool on the way, but for male smokers, it's 25 times the risk of men who have never smoked. And apart from lung cancer, tobacco use also increases the risk for cancer of the mouth, lips, nose, sinuses, larynx, or voice box, pharynx, or throat, esophagus, or swallowing tube. But the list goes on and on. The stomach, the pancreas, the kidney, the bladder, the uterus, the cervix, erectum, ovary, and many, many more. Mm, so yeah, when Alapika, maybe you should think twice about lighting up. Here's a little bit more about how cancer can attack the cells. Now, Betrani, cancer can develop na pina mzimbeni and at any age. Now, unlike diseases such as the AIDS, the flu, or TB, cancer is not contagious. Now, cancer is usually caused by genetic damage that happens inside an individual cell. Now, the cells affected by cancer are called malignant cells. Immaculate cells get different from normal cells in the body. They divide much more rapidly than they should. Who has had cancer during treatment, because the anti-cancer drugs affected the normal hair follicle cells. As cells get, they divide rapidly, as well as the rapidly dividing malignant cells. So a cancer treatment can be very painful, as it is not only the bad cells that are attacked, but also the cells. Now, if caught in time, it can be treated. Why researchers all over the world are working at finding its treatment? Mm. Now, Lana Game Zanti, we have our own very dedicated experts who contribute to the valuable research that is being done worldwide. Since I'm a guest, I will tell you how we eat 10 milabs of mana in Kukata and Savage. Check it out. Cancer research is what we're talking about, and I'm trying to just for a to make the a better place. TMZ is on a mission, but fail to insist for your eternal left to find out more information. You and me, let's go. I am Shavika Schroeder. I am a radiation therapist by profession, and my job mainly is to um, plan and treat uh, cancer patients. Yes. Um, in, in our field, we have a, uh, it's a specialized kind of uh, treatment that we do. Mm -hmm. So it's not conventional radiotherapy. 
it's known as particle therapy. We um, have particles that produced for us in a cyclotron okay. and it's then pumped down a beam line into a machine okay. and then we treat our patient with that. Draw what we call reference lines on the patients and those reference lines are referred to as our zero reference. Okay. Once that is done, we then take out uh, the images, uh, it's transferred through a database into a planning computer. The planning computer is a fully 3D uh, computer which allows one to see the patient's anatomy in 3D. So that allows us to look over the area that we're treating and then make sure that where the tumor is growing, all of that is included. What the next stage that happens is that our radiation oncologist comes along and draws in a uh, area for us where we are going to treat. Do you want to make sure that it's absolutely correct that our radiation beams that we're going to put in is going to cover only that area? Okay. And then we must make sure that our critical organs have a dose that what we call is a tolerance dose. Mm -hmm. Because if one goes beyond those tolerance doses, we will call to cause damage to the patients. Once that is done, we then send the data from the 3D planning computer, we send it electronically over to the, uh, to the treatment machine, to the treatment unit. Mm -hmm. And then when the patient comes, we then retrieve that data for that patient only. Now that isn't the only treatment that we do. We also have a treatment that we call proton therapy. Mm -hmm. A proton therapy is a treatment that we treat small lesions, well-defined lesions, close to critical structures. So I can already tell you, mm -hmm. If you were to have a little tumor here in your pituitary between your eyes, yeah. it would be very difficult to operate in there. Mm. So what we do is we do a treatment called radiosurgery, okay. which means it's surgery with radiation. Mm. Now, how do we do this? Yes. We make a special mask for the patient. Okay. Then what we do is we attach a, like almost like a, um, if I can explain to you, like they have in football, in the American football, yes. a grid mask like that they have in front of okay. that. We've got markers on ours. Okay. And that we're going to use, we're going to use tracking, like they use with the GPS, tracking. Okay. Yeah, we are very, very, very accurate because we only treat the tumor. Okay. That beam that we use, it comes into the patient, and it takes us the 100 percent, the intensity of that patient, of that beam gets deposited only where the tumor is, and then no radiation after that, it drops off completely. So already you're going to have to be able to treat children with it because your normal tissue gets no radiation whatsoever. Oh, so where does the beam come from? From the mask or from no, like another machine? Okay. No, the beam comes from the cyclotron. A cyclotron is a machine that consists of four huge magnets, and we extract the proton from the hydrogen gas. And then the proton gets pumped into the, uh, into the magnets and it gets accelerated to the energy that we want. Mm. And the reason why we can accelerate the proton because it has a positive charge. Now if we want neutrons in our neutron world, we have that very big machine. We have to take the protons and, and bombard a target. And this target is made of a special kind of um, metal. It's called beryllium. And then neutrons are produced. In the proton room, the protons come straight off from the accelerator right into the room. We don't have to do anything with that because we want to treat with the protons. Okay. So right here on South African shores, we have facilities that are making a difference to the fight against a cancer. <laughs> I give a fitness way to we'll be catching up with an expert on cancer warning signs to look out for and preventive measures. Why doubt Talapat Siaboy? We are looking at the cold hard facts about one of the world's biggest killers, Namtajiktuai cancer. Now, Lena Gay affects millions, not just those who suffer from the disease. Got your name in Nabo, Nabantaba Close Born. Nabantaba indeed, indeed is a cancer, and there is no age limit as to who is at risk. Yes, it's a disease that can infect Nabana at any age. Modern research is showing that some forms of cancer can be avoided. Amanyama studies are proven that over 30% of cancer can be prevented by a healthy lifestyle or by immunization against cancer-causing infections. In Shaloka, you see, other cancers in Bitwani can be detected very early and treated. So when a patient who has been diagnosed with cancer becomes cancer-free, the class means are remission. So, I've heard that the team is barely hope, even for those who have the disease. So, it's a cool market in cancer, but lifestyle choices that can reduce our risk of getting on a cancer. 
Your first boy stayed on a mission by Fetsa Kwang. His topic is that I'm trying to get cancer research. We'll touch down a bit for you. So far, I'm my experts is Kassela Gabanzi about us fighting against cancer. It's you and me in this mission, boy. Let's get it. My name is Lucy Bologna and I'm the Head of Marketing and Communication for the Cancer Association of South Africa, yes. commonly known as cancer. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we're about educating and getting young people involved with knowing about cancer the disease but also getting them involved in the fight against cancer. We teach them about reducing their risk. Mm -hmm. We want to prevent people from getting cancer. How do you get cancer and what is cancer as a whole? Some of us have got all sorts of cancer cells in our body but mm -hmm. they need something to trigger it. Okay. Okay. So there are things that you can do so that you don't get cancer or reduce the risk. Mm. So things like one thing is definitely don't smoke. Okay, wait, so everybody has cancer in their system? They've got some cancer cells okay. in their systems, okay. Okay? okay? Or they're susceptible to it. Okay. okay, okay. So you need a trigger. You need something that's going to trigger those cells. Mm. If there's a family history, say for example, I've got a mother or an aunt or a father who has cancer, mm. it means my risk is even more. So I have to be careful and make sure I go for screening and do things to check myself so that I don't trigger those cells. Mm -hmm. So what triggers the cells? Well, things that you can definitely avoid is smoking. Okay. So, I've got to say to young people, it ain't cool. And especially <laughs> one of the biggest problems is water, hubbly bubblies, water mm. pipes, or whatever they call them, yeah. where people are having these parties and you know what, let's get a, a hubby bubbly in a water pipe because they think it's so cool. It's actually worse than smoking cigarettes because mm. you've been exposed to much more chemicals. Mm. We realize it's an addiction and we want to help. So we've got an online program. So if somebody is already smoking, mm -hmm. they want to quit, they need some help to stop, mm -hmm. go to our website. It's called Cancer E Kick Butt mm -hmm. and you can join online and it's just a tool to help you. They send you messages every day to help you not to start smoking. Okay, 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 cool. So the hookah is part of the lifestyle, right? So what kind of lifestyle do we need to live? Well, things like what young people like to do, they need to be active. Yes. Do some exercise. Okay. Make sure you're getting out there and doing things. Be active and eat the right foods. Have fresh, clean water every day. Try and have lots of fresh fruit and veggies, you mm. know. If mm. you've got a plate, try and make sure that half your plate has got like green stuff and fresh veggies and then the other plate can be a quarter carbohydrates and then a quarter protein. Mm -hmm. And try and read up about eating the good fats, avocado, canola oil, those kind of things. So it's about eating well and trying to avoid processed foods. So yeah. none of these processed foods, salty junk food, you know what, that's the thing that's going to cause, it, it's just not good for the system. So those are ways you can reduce it. And one of the biggest things we seem to have a problem with is mm. obesity in South Africa. Mm. More younger people are just getting bigger. So we need to stop that because you need them to be healthy. They need to look after their families when they're older. You want to be able to study and carry on with life. So mm. you don't want obesity to affect you. Okay. The most important thing in terms of lifestyle is going for regular screening. Okay. You know, with the woman, it's getting to know about the warning signs for um, breast cancer mm -hmm. and to teach young women, listen, do a breast self-exam every month mm -hmm. or go to your nearest clinic hospital and get a clinical breast exam mm. or, and, and if you're older, then go for a mammogram. We usually say women about the age of 40, they should go for a mammogram. For younger girls, you know, you should do your own self-exam. If you find any lump or something strange, that's the time that you go and you say, listen, something's not right here, let's get it checked out. Because mm. early detection is key. Mm, mm, if you are detected early, that means your treatment chances are better and that you can be looked after much better while getting cancer. Mm, mm. Okay, so Lucy, tell me about the early symptoms of cancer. Things you should look out for if there's a change in a water mole. Mm -hmm. Look at a mole on your body and if it seems to change in size or it's discoloration mm. or it's changing in color, get it checked out. Skin okay. cancer is very common in South Africa. Okay. Um, chronic pain in the bones or any other area of the body. Mm. Enduring fatigue and nausea or vomiting. If that's continuing for a really long time, get it checked out. Mm. Um, a sore that doesn't heal. If you've got a cut or a, uh, something that's taking far too long to get um, healed, get mm -hmm. it checked out. Okay. Um, thickening in the lump or the breast, testicles or elsewhere. Specifically for the young guys, look at things for the testicles, any mm -hmm. swelling or lumps, any pain or heaviness and any aches, funny enough, in the lower abdomen, mm -hmm. back or your groin. Mm -hmm. Get it checked out. Okay. If you get treated and you get sorted out and get somebody to check it out, then at least you know you're okay and people can live with cancer. Mm -hmm. There are people, can, people that live with cancer that have got cancer, they've been living, we call them cancer survivors. Mm -hmm. There's hope. Well, the January now, for now, one's the healthier choices and avoid cancer. I guess it doesn't mean. 
Avoid microwaving ogot lagu plastic or putting plastics in the dishwasher because the heat may cause chemicals to leak out. Ija very healthy betunani. Don't overdo the fat at Jen Kwako. Ija eat vegetables is a calm logos beans gakulu. And try not to eat food that is burnt or overcooked. It could contain carcinogens. Also, unga lengu bem. Enough said. Drops mic. Also say that stress can be a big part of contributing to eat cancer. So stay balanced, rest when you need to, and try not to stress too much. Inshallah, guys, man says no matter how less stress means better health. I like that idea. Spend more time in couching. And watch it T O M Z. Go there's a healthier lifestyle for you, right? Yeah. Now, but man, it's all about balance, really. Hey, a balanced diet, a healthy balance of exercise, relaxing, and work. Basically, it's the balance that you work and fun. You are mm. with me. Time for a balance between the show and some commercials. See how we're gonna manage. Coming up, we go back in time to clockwise Galoku to find out about the history of cancer. We check out some amazing online contact. No Mr. Cool Caddy for cyberspace. And we get some awesome career advice. See ya, boy. Who's boy now? Tom's. Tom's. Department of Science and Technology. cancer, what the risks are, how we can avoid it by living healthier lives, and some of the treatments that are out there. Now, Nina Makai and it is a disease that has affected a lot of lives. Has it ever affected where now or anyone you know? Can you study a local match? Hello, Tom Nat, and yes, was Namaka's Facebook. Now, go Twitter, so you have been. You can go and visit our website to catch up on some of the info that you missed. Modern science has made a lot of progress in cancer research. Now, certain types of cancer now disappear completely right at the right time. But China is something that scientists are learning more about every day, about a disease that has affected billions of people over thousands of Iminyak. Mm -hmm. Now you get it clockwise with some info on just how far back cancer goes. The earliest known cases of cancer are believed to date from sources as early as 2500 BC in ancient Egypt, though it is possible that it has been around for even longer. Greek philosopher and medical researcher Hippocrates described many kinds of cancer, referring them to the Greek word casinos, which means crab or crayfish. Now, Lily Gamaga came from the way the malignant tumor looked with the veins stretched on all sides similar to a crab's feet. Now, when Marie Curie and Pierre Curie discovered radiation at the end of the 19th century, they accidentally found the first effective cancer treatment, which did not require surgery. Radiation therapy has been refined greatly since then and is still used in modern cancer treatment. Now, the corner again, Jerry Shuashukain, footy a ning that cancer is treated, sponge is science. Corner is surgery, a procedure where a doctor with special training removes the cancer from your body. There's also a radiation therapy, Betunani, which uses high doses of radiation to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. We're going to put in a chemotherapy, which uses drugs to kill the cancer cells. My corner again, Betunani, you want to know all you need to know about cancer? There are some amazing sites online that can keep you in the know and some great apps that can actually help you live healthier. Must go get any possible carry and then. They have a healthier woman online app helps busy women to keep track of all the info they need to know to stay healthy. It's an easy way for you to find reliable, personalized cancer prevention tips for yourself and the ones you love. Everhealthier.org. The International Cancer Control Partnerships brings you facts, diagnosis, what you need to look out for, and cancer prevention tips all in one place at iccportal.org. Finally, another one for the ladies. Boarding for breast cancer lets you set a monthly breast self-exam reminder to perform Form your own exam, one of the most effective ways to detecting breast cancer at an early stage. So, keep yourselves informed. Quiet ladies, please do not forget to go and check Amamele in. Local cancer Amamele can be treated successfully if you catch it in time, though. Now, we've covered some very important stuff, Namshanch. That you can become a part of the fight against a cancer. Quiet, there are many things you can do, whether it's research, medicine, or simply being there for Umdona cancer. But you could also become a part of the work that is done by a cancer. The Cancer Association of South Africa, or Cancer, is a non-profit organization set up to fight cancer and to offer support to cancer sufferers. Now, Betrani Bangla Gwindaungendawe, including education, social support, and research. If you want to volunteer to help in the fight against cancer or to see what career vacancies are available in the organization, you can contact the toll-free call center on 0800-226622. That's 0800 or email cancer at info at cancer.org.za.
In Dog Eleno and Kaba Ngayo, why are you plotting out your future? Now, there are so many ways you can help in the treatment and support of people with cancer. In Jalonga and Betunan, there are also lifelong careers in cancer research that can make a major difference to the bigger picture, actually. I shall in with our guests for some career advice from them on how their jobs make a difference. If you want to follow this career as a radiation therapist, the subjects at school you need to take is uh, physics subjects, mathematics or biology. Now, the bursaries are offered either by the government or by the university itself, depending who offers the bursaries. Career also in radiography, the whole branch of the radiography career consists of four different disciplines. The first one is diagnostic radiography, then comes radiation therapy, and then comes nuclear medicine and then ultrasound. So if you're keen and interested in getting involved in the fight against cancer, what you could do is you could become a social worker. We always need social workers who are there to provide care and support. Another area you could get involved in is the team that I work in, in part of marketing and communication. So it's learning all about public relations, internal communication, external communication, how to put together health awareness campaigns. <laughs> You know, I absolutely love today's show because I want to venture into nature conservation. You know, with a hashtag throwback episode. TPE, I born there. Let's be like, let's invest in a good social media idea. Let's be like, hey guys, hello. Let's be like, I want to be a pediatric dentist, so I want to know the requirements needed. Well, when I say, let's be like, 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 let dot facebook.com forward slash t-o-m-z on twitter at tom's underscore s-a-b-c underscore one go instagram to uba say with tom's tv underscore s-a-b-c one what tired of plain boring t-shirt why go and offer it as a basis as with t-o-m-z but sing me the galog e t-shirt and the go and tell you with t-o-m-z it's very simple you can visit our facebook page let us be like here oh i'm the galog when i'll call them because the call night designs as case i'm never pire on the like 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 e t-shirt or it's time they got cool and guess what, Buffet? It's a competition here to save value, and now we get to choose the most creative and freshest design as we call Yimi to bring life to this boring look of mine. And if you get the most likes, well, we're going to take you through the experience of getting your t shirt printed in the next brand new season. How awesome is that? I give it to you, I'm going to let you know I'm going to let you that you feel inspired by science and you're ready to go out there and use the knowledge of the knowledge. Now keep telling us what you think on Facebook and on Twitter. I'm going to try to at the TOMZ website for more info on the show. I'm going to back here, boys. I'm going to say this line, like the TOMZ. Get in the scene, but I'm going to announce it. Goodbye. Next time on TOMZ. Find out how the Water Research Commission, the Department of Science and Technology, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are working to solve sanitation issues. How can something natural be toxic? <laughs> Save a show! <laughs>